Professor Liu is going to show you uh, a uh, E.15. This program you write, um, write a let uh, you you input a letter grade and output a number grade. For example, all right, if you have A, that's 4.0. B is 3.0. So we all know that. But sometimes you have A plus, A minus. So uh, if we see the plus, we're going to plus 0 0.3. All right. So if you see the minus, then uh, <coughs> you are going to do um, minus three, 0 0.3. But if there's an A plus, there's nothing is like 4.3, sorry. So A plus, you know, uh, the maxima is 4.0 anyway. But other than that, if you have uh, like uh, uh, you have a B plus, that can be 3.3, right? All right, so let's take a look at how do we write this program. This is the first time we write a program. Right now, we ask you to write it another function, another method. So this method, because this is quite complicated, complicated. So we want to create a method. It's called get numerical, get numerical grade. We take a, a input a parameter is grade. <coughs> so. Over here, then you um, provide the constant number A, B, C, D, and F. Okay, you also get plus or minus adjustment 0 0.3. And now, first, you start with you know a numerical value start with 0. All right, so if uh, now you're going to read the string, so the first character, okay, if that's A, that's 4.0, B is 3.0, C 2.0, D 1.0, and that will be 0. All right, now we're going to see the A is a plus, if there's a plus sign or minus sign. If there's a plus sign, and that's not the A, because A, that's it, we don't do anything. So if that's A, on the plus sign, uh, if that's a plus sign, plus, plus, if that's A, we don't plus. Other than that, we always need to plus 0 0.3. All right, if that's, a, uh, if that's not the A plus, that's minus. A minus is 3.7. You're going to minus 0 0.3. So after you finish this, after you finish this, and you're going to return numerical value. That's why your function here is going to return a double. And this is a method, and use it by, you know, along with your main, your main program, along with your main program. So this method has to be static has to be stacked. When you use a method inside along with your uh, main method, it has to be static. So you're going to read the value inside here and pass this, uh, pass this string into this gray and return it can right here. So let me show you how to write this program. So I run Java application. And if I have this, um, you know, I'm going to say A plus, uh, A, okay? So 4.0. Then, uh, uh, let's run it one more time, all right? So let me run as A, okay? So B, <coughs> B plus. So 3.3, .3. okay? So uh, for this program, this is the first time you, you know, not first time, but you you write another, you write another fun method 
along with your uh, main method because this way uh, we can reduce, we can modulate this program. That's uh, one more step we're going to lead you get into the object-oriented programming. I hope you like this program.